Hello, everybody. Uh, I am unstable. But, uh, how literal is that? Who actually am I? Am I really this annoying all the time? Did I really kill those five people back in the year 1999? A am I really gay, or am I actually just a super weird? All of this, and more, to be answered in this little Q&A. Except for the gay one, that one's personal, kiddos. First question. Who really am I? Well, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is James M. I was born at the age of zero in a hospital that no longer exists. I'm a 5'6 goober who thinks he's kinda pretty good at this whole showbiz thing. Or whatever the kids call it these days. I don't know, I'm 18, bro. That, that just makes me basically ancient. Question two. Um, what are my hobbies? I don't really have hobbies. I kinda just sit around and talk to my friends on Discord and listen to music all day. And of course, play video games. Usually all three at the same time. Question three, then what are your favorite games? To which I have to say, that's a very good question. Uh, my favorite game of all time is probably Fallout New Vegas, though it could be one of the Borderlands games depending on the day. I just kind of love first-person shooters, you know, like Fallout, Borderlands, Bioshock, Call of Duty, TF2. Definitely more than I'm forgetting. And Minecraft. Um, not saying that's a first-person shooter, but, you know, everybody likes Minecraft. It's just kind of a given. So, question four, what is your favorite band? Um, music, to me, is a very hard subject, just because my taste is a uh, hyperactive ping pong ball. It's just kind of all over the place. But if I had to choose just one favorite band, it'd be Glass Beach. They're somewhat all over the place, but they have a, a rocky, jazzy sound that you just kind of can't find anywhere else. It, it, I, I've tried, I've looked, and... Only the bands that the members used to be in even come close. I will be shutting up about them for now, but I want to rant about music now. Really bad. Okay, so from here out, the entire rest of the video is scriptless. So, uh, best of luck voice acting unstable. Says script unstable. I hate script unstable. Anyway, the rest of the questions from here on out are questions left by people who are, are not me. I did not come up with these questions. Questions such as, how do you go about recording these videos? Um, I use a random free online voice recorder. I, you know, just record every segment of a script as different parts. Then I just, like, turn it all into one large audio file. And then I end up doing that, edit it a little bit to turn it into an actual video, put something on screen. And that's just, that's just how it works. That's, that's how I do it. Congratulations, you can make an unstable video now. Our next question is very simple. Are you emotionally unstable? No. Maybe. Um, our next question is, what is your favorite GimKit creative device? I, If you can't tell, I asked the GimKit Discord for some questions. I figured I was going to get some GimKit related stuff, but I didn't get as much as I thought. So, to answer this question, um, editing unstable, put a random image of a device on screen. I don't, I don't actually have a proper answer, sorry. Our next question is very simple. What is your favorite gim? Bonesy. Because it was literally a reference to me. Our next question is, am I reading this right? What are you afraid of? Uh, um... I'm, I am, I'm afraid of being alone, and I am afraid of the ocean and spiders. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. Yeah, it sounds like that's about it. Thanks for the question. Please never ask again. Our next question is also very simple. Are there more wheels or doors? To which there is a very easy definitive answer, being wheels. Um, this is almost entirely just, like, carried by the fact that LEGO makes, um, a lot more LEGO tires than they do doors. Um, by an amount which is, they made, like, 381 million tires in, like, 2010. And, like, if, I, I don't, I really don't think the number of doors are even comparable to that amount. That's not even factoring in all the other types of wheels from all the other things. Um, our next question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. 
Our next question is a little bit more complicated. What happened to the content you said you were going to make in the Unstable is Back video? I just ended up dealing with a lot of YouTube burnout at the time, just because of having so many things happening at once. Um, recently, I've had a little bit more of a motivation. I, I've been more willing to be making more videos. That's why we had the Game Kid Awards video and why we have this right now. And hopefully, I, sh I do have another video in the works. Um, Editing Unstable, please put the script on screen for the other video. It's like nothing right now, but it's a pretty cool concept, and there's a lot of research that I've put into it. Our next question is very simple. How much GimKit do you play? Um, well, outside of me making the creative maps I made recently, um, I do not play GimKit outside of game nights. That's still a considerable amount of GimKit. Definitely even an unhealthy amount. But not that much, to be fair. Our second to last question is, how did you get started with a GimKit? Um, for me, about, ooh, I want to say... Three, four years ago, um, we played it once in class. It was right before Fishtopia got released, and I under I I, rem I remember that during that like month, whenever I first uh, got into this, they released Fishtopia, and that was like my teacher like loved the fish at the time. So like we just played a lot of it to do studying for his class, and that just kind of led me on a path down to here. But I'm going to explain that a little bit more in our next question. Okay, so I might have lied about that last part. But our next question is, why are you here in relation to why am I on the GimKit Discord server? Um, Basically, originally, I was just really bored. I had nothing else going on. So I just decided, hey, it'd be, I guess, kind of fun if this thing I have a little bit of an interest in. I, I just went ahead and checked it out, see, checked out their Discord server. Um, and then that slowly but surely spiraled into me becoming a figurehead of a community, which is a, a thing that I've wanted for a very long time, because I've been in dozens of other communities. I've been not as big, but um, for a, a distinctive example of me being kind of big was um, uh, communities on, on PlayStation, um, the, the original Minecraft Bedrock community. The main one. I don't know if it was the official one or not. I don't really remember now. It was before that communities got shut down. Um, I used to make little mining sim games. And basically every single time I'd create one, it would just instantly fill up with random people. To the extent of which I have, like, I still have, I think, a thousand people friended on my PlayStation. Or something like that. Or something really close to that. So I was decently big, and then communities died for PlayStation, and then that all went kaput. So then I there was no more communities. There, there was nothing else. So then everybody slowly but surely died off. The interest in my stuff there died off. I didn't really have a, a community to be in. So being here, being where I am now, feels awesome. It feels great, and I'm very happy to be where I am I don't want to go into the, oh, I'm so blessed to be here, but I really am. Because I don't think I would like any other community to be any other way. I love this community, and I need to give you all a genuine thank you for the 100 subscribers, for the laughs we've had along the course of the past, like, almost two years now. For everything. Thank you. Thank you for everything, and I'll be seeing you in that next video I make. See you, nerds.